Hello everybody. It is December 2220. That's a lot of twos. Well, I just wanted to say that I slept pretty good last night and I went for my walk this morning. It was pretty, pretty windy. So I got to this place I go to, which is like a baseball field. And I sit on the bleachers that face out to the baseball field. And then there's some trees, like wooded area to the right. And then just some singular trees to the left. So I sat there and I'm, you know, looking at the sky and I'm talking to my guides and, you know, I see my spheres and sparklies and it was very cloudy but it was sunny but the sun was a little bit over to me so as i'm in my gaze looking forward i can see in my peripheral crow flying and then you know a couple leaves this way one or two leaves that go this way and the reason why i know is because sometimes i'll I'll look to identify. So, any hoo ha. So I'm still kind of in my my gaze, and right here, all of a sudden, I see what looks like a leaf, and I turn and I'm staring straight at it, and I go, "Isn't that?" falling oddly the wind's blowing this way but it's coming like this little turns and it's silverish white and i'm just following it waiting for it to get down to the ground because it has such an odd color that i was going to go literally go get it when about 50 feet from the ground it stopped and went into its, its spheres. That's what I call spheres. People will call them ships, they'll call them orbs. I don't know what the heck to call them. But it they, they always come to me. If I even look out my window, all of a sudden one will appear and it'll be going in circles or it'll have all these like shooting stars from it. So yeah, it stopped like 50 feet from the ground and went and I was like, okay I asked for something new and there we got it and then I looked over to the right and there's like um the the rooftops to the little dugouts um and I was just you know gazing at the rooftop because I would see uh little translucent figures they come down and I'm hoping the one that one's just gonna be like hey um, so as I'm looking at it, all the shingles then became um, multi-dimensional. So it looked like there were layers of shingles. And that's not always unusual for me to see that um, lately. But then little things were landing. And as I just sort of would breathe through and soften my gaze, um, it looked like something kind of grew up and was walking towards me and I couldn't really tell the only the only flash I got was lion so I just acknowledged that so anyway that walk finished and later I ran some errands and I came back and I thought I really want to walk walk to the Arboreum but the trail is not completely cleared since the snow so I thought I'm gonna which is what I was gonna do yesterday, but I had a flat tire, remember? Great. So I have my little spare on right now. And I not only have to get one new tire, I have to get four because of all wheel drive. But that's another story. Um, so anyway, I drove over to the Arboreum, I parked, I walked, it was really quiet. I walked, I got to my bench, sat down, put my gloves on, my hat, and then all of a sudden the wind started up again. It was like fierce wind, like it's literally feels like it's blowing me in the bench. So 
instead of looking directly over at the sun, I decided to really do a soft, soft gaze. And when I do that, I will see a face that I will see throughout. I have like a, a whole slew and they'll come like one after the other and I'll see them repeatedly it can, and they can turn faces like they can walk one way, turn around and there'll be another face. It could be a man, a woman of all different eras because they have different clothing on. So I'm more seeing the traces of them, which is how I can tell. I'm still not sure if they're all past lives or their significant part of past lives that want me to know I'm you or they're just guides at this point. So anyway, I uh, softened my gaze and as always, it's almost like this, um, oh, how do I want to put this? It's like a round circle, but it's all sparkly and they just, they just start coming towards me and they crawl all over me. And today one got all the way up and like disappeared through the, my heart center and my coat. Another one slithered over and hung out on my left leg and I could feel it. I could barely see them. They're all peripheral, okay? So I could be like this and I can see all their, it's like a reflecting pool, like a round circle reflecting pool is what they look like, crystal, like crystal. And um, they'll just crawl all over me now. So um, as of the other day, I actually literally reached my hands out to them. You know, in this, either my eyes are like barely slit open or they're real soft gaze. So it, they started like, I just was going like this, like, come on, let me pet you. Um, so I sat there for like an hour going through that. And then when I looked up, it's all like, and then I got in my car to drive home and I had to sit at the light and I, I didn't have to look up. It just looks like there's a bird going, but it's not, it's like, it's like these little silver ships. I don't, I don't know. I can't tell you. Um, I know that I want to see them in my 3d like, yes, without a doubt, I can identify this, but that's not what the spiritual world is really all about. They give us what we can handle. And I did remind them today that I am more than ready. And even if they have looks that I've not recognized before or might scare me to let them know that it's okay. You know, I don't expect them to look identical to me. And I think that's part of the reason why sometimes they'll show me different faces. Like my Octorian guide, I can, I recognize him like right away. And then there's another one that looks similar to that, but a different jawline. And then there's three of them that appeared again today. And they're, um, they're talking to each other, but they're, um, they're translucent with these like striped lights through them, but you can see their beak, their nose, their eyes. And it's almost, um, I, I, I can't identify it. It's not bird. It's not bear. I, I don't know what it is, um, but the middle one was turning and talking to this one and then turning talking to this one, and I knew they were um, discussing me because what else would they be talking about or let me see it? So I'm like, so I was kind of like, hey, in my mind's eye, I'm ready. Tell tell the other one, I'm tell, tell that one, no, tell that one, I'm ready. I'm ready. So they came through twice today um, in my gazing. So I really enjoyed it. So we're still in the solstice energy. My crystals and everything are still outside and will be until tomorrow. And um, yeah, day by day by day by day. So enjoy it. Till the next video, please like, subscribe, share, leave me a comment. It's very important for the algorithm for you to like. And if you hit the subscribe button, hit all so that you get every video I come out with. Even if you don't watch them all, just like them. Just get it. Because I don't want to wind up in the dungeon because that's where they put no namers. And then we'll see how things go with um, the uh, censorship. So I'm really not afraid of it because I talk um, generically in general about things. 
because my spirit guides do not want me to talk the way some other people do. So, because when you tell somebody something is a certain way, I feel that they can be swayed to believe that way. I like to help people just challenge themselves and find um, their way of describing it, which is why a number of years ago, I said to the guides, delete, alt, cancel, all cookies, all things. I don't wanna know anything. I don't wanna know anything. I will know what you share with me. And that is what I will know. So I don't wanna to be told, I don't wanna read it in a book, although I do venture out, listen to other YouTubes. I do read books that I'm, I'm drawn to, to reading. Um, because I'm such a truth teller. It's got to be real. It's got to be the truth. It can't be, I mean, I've known stuff since a kid. I just never could express them. So anyway, um, hit that like button, please. 